So you're into climbing and jumping, huh? Well, put on your sneakers. You're headed to the gym class floor. But first, how many people will be playing? Three of you. How fun. That's great. Thank you. Is this the first time on the ride? Oh, how nice. Newbies. We'll be sure to include some extra instructions during the course of your ride. Player one, may I have your name, please? Poor thing. Didn't your parents give you any consonants when you were born? Too bad. Oh, look. It's your... Okay, that's fine. Player three, let's show players... Perfect. Thank you. Your buzzer, player one, is Q. That's Q, as in Queen of Sheba. Your buzzer, player two, is B, as in Da Bomb. Player three, to buzz in, press the letter P, as in Popsicle. Okay, let's have a nice clean game in there. And remember, no horsing around in the shower. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by Gymnasium Ad Nauseum. Pump it up till you, you get up. And now, here's your host, Cookie. All right, welcome to the game. Maybe we should warm up first. I'd hate for you to pull something. Okay, first off, got to give you your screws. Here's the punch for all three of you. Now listen up, and I'm going to tell you why I'm passing these out. The first time a question comes up that you think might be on the difficult side, buzz in immediately and start pounding on the S key. That's S for screws. You're going to be shooting these puppies into the screen, totally annihilating the question and answers. Then you're going to make your opponent answer the question whether they can read any of it or not. So if you're not the one pounding on the S key, you better be trying to read everything fast before it's gone. And that's Flackjack. <laughs> Okay, slip into your gym shorts and let's play. Player two, pick us a question value. Well, you win some, you lose some badly. Here's the category. Your flunking gym, Mr. President. Get your buzzer finger ready, here we go. If the requirements for the Presidential Fitness Award and Presidency of the United States were the same, which of your classmates would be eligible for the award? Natural-born citizens over 35 who do pull-ups, naturalized citizens who are good at sit-ups, anyone over 25 who does the flex... Player 3, do it! Now, the only thing politicians need to do fast is get out of the country when their personal lives are revealed. <laughs> player 1, take a shot, Player 2. No, like the boss always says, you have to be born in the USA. Play player one. Um, no. It's not that difficult. It's not Jeopardy. Gotta be over 35 to be president. You betcha. So don't worry, still being in elementary school when you're 50 won't hurt your chances of being elected to the presidency. Player three, select the value. Okay, nice shot. Here's your category. Scoring in gym class, if you know what I mean. Okay, take a look at this analogy and get ready to choose the best answer. Condom is to IUD as flexed arm hang is to pull up, parallel bars is to uneven bars, rugby is to suck. All yours, player. In gymnastics, parallel bars are for males and the uneven bars are for females. And let me tell you, birth control is just as hard to maneuver when you've got a crowd watching and international judges scoring your performance. Player one, here's your category. Pain in the class. Let's see that question. If your high school had taken the term intramurals literally, which of these sports could you have played? Foosball, volleyball, softball, or hacky sack? Player two, grab it! Intramural means within the walls, so you be playing volleyball. Until the walls start closing in and the air begins to run out, must stop talking, stop stealing my air! Ah! Okay, player two, grab a question value. It's roadkill time! 
Alright, let me tell you how this game works. I'm gonna show you various pairs of things that are somehow related. And you're gonna see a series of items that may or may not connect the pair. You gotta buzz in to select the item you think correctly joins the two. I'll give you a grand if you're correct, but do choose wisely. You're gonna lose a grand every time you're wrong. And we're gonna wrap it all up with a final bonus round worth some extra cash. Pay attention to all the correct answers and you might have a shot at the bonus. You got that? Good, let's motor. Thumb plus fingers plus palm equals Aunt McCauley's teacher, Mr. Blank. What's the intersection between these two? Score. 12 inches, and you hop on one. Drink Coke is and bathroom cleaner Blank Scrub. Score. Makers of Dark Neon and Viper and Wyatt Earp City. that bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all part of the body? Wrestling maneuvers! Items on a playground! Games with ball in their net! You got it, player two. Let's add it up. position here to promote my own ideas, but here it is. Make dodgeball an Olympic sport. Write your local representatives. So player one's in the lead. All right, let's see how long this lasts. Player two, hit me. I like to call this category... Big words are funny. Okay, hope you paid attention in English class, because it's time for a thesaurus question. I'm going to show you a phrase, and when you figure out what it's a synonym for, buzz in. If you don't know what a synonym is, well then, you know, just guess like you would normally. Hamper Sphere Snare. Oh. Player one, who you want to screw? You got to answer it, player three, one, two, number four, let's see. No, but when one of your hamper spheres pops out of your jock strap, that's that's a whole new kind of pain. <laughs> player one, player, player two, it's yours. <laughs> player one, you can take that to the bank. Well, aren't you literate? When I first saw it, I thought it was a fancy term for wedgie. Player one, please buzz in and let us know how much this one's gonna be worth. This one's called... What will my bra train me to do? Oh god, do you remember getting undressed in the school's locker room for the first time? It was so embarrassing trying to keep your breasts covered. I bet the girls had a rough time too. Suppose you flash a breast while changing in the locker room. What's hanging out? Bolivia, Thailand, France, or Romania? All yours, player one. Hey mom, can I have some money for lunch? <laughs> player two, player three, take a shot, player two. What are you doing? Keep wailing on the SK! Player three, don't take that. Give us an answer. Oh, alright, let's check it out. 
Now, if Thailand is hanging out, the other kids will be pointing at your Bangkok. <laughs> Player two, grab. Oh la la. Brest is a port city in northwest France that was first discovered with the onset of puberty. <laughs> All right, player two, buzz in, give us a value. Bingo. They weren't athletic, cool, or fun, and wimps were what we called them. W-I-M-P-S, 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 admit it, you were one, oh. Welcome to Wimps! Alright, let me give you a quick explanation of how this works. You're gonna get a series of puzzles. When you think you know the answer to a puzzle, wait until the first letter of that answer highlights on the screen, and then buzz in. If you're right, you get 500 bucks, and you collect that letter. But you lose 500 every time you're wrong. Be the first one to collect all the letters, and you take home the bonus. Okay, you with me? Hope so, cause we're going. Of my bike had a blank bar. Sissy bar. Another word for baby. Yeah, baby. Where nerds keep their pens. Way to protect. German name for a hot dog. Hot diggity. Popeye's hamburger loving friend! I'll pay you Tuesday! Run home crying to your flank! Computers have artificial blank! Intelligence! This buster is hot hot hot! Point Dexter! Are you a man or a blank? Player two, the nutty blank. Way to go, Professor! Player one's making it interesting. Family ties, wimpy neighbor. Skip me! There you go! Wimps! Player one, you grab the bonus! Well, for the time being, player one, you're on top. It's up to you, player three. Hit your buzzer to select a value. Okay, give it up for... Forming Locker Room Alliances. Remember playing Capture the Flag in gym class? I'm so happy for you. Anyway, say you want to capture a flag that has the same colors as America's old glory. Which of these countries' flags should you not snag? Thailand, France, Greece, or Chile? Reese's flag is blue and white, and if you try to steal it, you get kicked in the Acropolis. Player one, it's up to you. Snag a question value. The category is... Dodgeball can be so cruel. Wasn't gym class fun? Especially when it came to picking teams. Well, remember that, Sporto, as you figure out this analogy. Picked first in gym classes to Alpha as picked last. Player one, hit it. Alpha is the first letter in the Greek alphabet, and Omega is the last. First, last, middle, what's the difference when your underwear is yanked up over your head, all the games are the same? Player one, hit your buzzer and select a value. Corf de Brockle, Flemish Corn Turd. Wait a minute, is this a, uh... Okay, okay, I got it. All right, you want the real category? Here it is. Being smart ain't cool. Now listen up. I'm gonna toss out a phrase that looks and sounds like gibberish. Now what you gotta do is buzz in and tell me what it rhymes with. And you're gonna have about 30 seconds to solve this. The sooner you buzz in, the more money you can make. Okay then, tell me what this rhymes with. Him say, be dumb. Oh, and don't not ignore that punctuation there. Take it away, player three. Oh, you're so bad! Let me guess, you saw someone type that in when they were playing one of the other volumes or something, and now you want to see what I'll say now. Well, uh, I hate to disappoint you, but I'm, I'm just gonna take away some cash. 
All right, there you have it. Now, uh, let's get back to the game. Player one, you up for some fun? Player two, it's in your car type. Oh, what a surprise. Boy, you sure caught me off guard with that one. Hey, speaking of surprises, do you remember that sex toy you used to keep under your bed? Well, do you realize that everyone in your family knew about that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not to mention a few other people. What do you know? Another surprise. That's right. I didn't do anything. But I will tell you this. You know, just a word of advice for someone like yourself. Do you know that the FBI keeps a file on all of your credit card transactions? Yes, including anything over the Internet. Yeah, you, you, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Player one, want to try? First clue, it's a place. Iowa? It's a place to exercise or play indoor sports. Oh. Player one, it's all you. Type in your... Did you know the word gymnasium comes from the Greek words meaning to exercise naked? Yeah, at least that way my underwear wouldn't have gotten yanked up over my head. Okay, player one, pick a winner. Your category is... Drop that bacon, punk! All right, player three, opportunity's knocking for you. Don't blow it. From which of these dishes... Player three, make it happen. <laughs> Did you notice the cause and effect there? You buzzed in too quick, and I gave you some ridiculous answers to choose from. You know, scientifically speaking, it's uh, kind of interesting. <laughs> Hey, shortcut, buzz in first! All yours, player one. That's not gonna cut it. <laughs> Ball's in your co- Okay, I'm gonna murder you now. Uh, please hit your buzzer! Hey, Tootie, I said wrong key. A Denver omelet has ham, not bacon. And be sure to run a few wind sprints right after eating so you can look at the omelet again. <laughs> Poke your buzzer and give us a value. This one's called... Allie. Oops! Did you know that the guy who invented basketball, James Naismith, was a phys ed instructor? Well, he was. Considering the type of baskets James Naismith used to invent basketball, what might you expect? Up to you. Player three, who would you like? Uh, you realize you're screwing yourself, right? All right, give me an answer. The selection is two, all right. That's egg in your face. Player one. He used peach baskets. Now why Shaq shoots bricks, only he knows. Player one, buzz in and shoes of value for us. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. Each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I hate Jim. And remember, the match has to fit the clue. Alright, good luck.
until you have fun there, it was certainly fun to watch. And with a little help from player three, you're only the second worst player. Matter, Jimbo? Uh, I couldn't afford to keep my cell phone. Now driving without being on the phone feels weird. <laughs> Have to pay attention to the road, huh? Yeah. Try this. What's in the bag? It's a cell phone substitute. Put it on. <laughs> I can't see anything with these blinders on. No? I see. It also comes with a five-year-old child. How come horses don't have toes? Why do we pee? Who's that? Where are we going? Me, me, Wow, me. it feels just like using my cell phone. Oh, not yet. Do you have a hands-free phone? No. Oh, then we have the head-to-shoulder strap. <laughs> wow. How can your head is sideways? With my head fixed to my shoulder, an incessant noise in my ear, and my eyes distracted from the reality around me, I feel just like I'm using my car phone. But I'm not racking up any air time. Hey, we better get to work, buddy. You're right. Speed up. You can't see them, but there's some people riding on bikes just up ahead. <laughs> then let's go. The cell phone substitute because you don't need technology to be a menace to society. What's menace to sobriety mean? Yeah, can I get the steak without the meat? Sorry, sir, that's not possible. Ugh, where does a vegetarian have to go to get a decent meal around here? Come on down to Joe's Backyard for two acres of vegetarian delight. For only $9.99, I'll set you out to pasture, and that includes unlimited returns to my grass buffet. Now I don't have to stay home when my non-vegetarian friends go out to eat. I can even bring my dog. <laughs> Depending on the time of year, we've got four-leaf clovers, dandelions, daisies, crabgrass, and of course our most popular item, good old-fashioned grass. I'm a vegan, and I feel more comfortable knowing that my dinner wasn't cooked in the same pan as some helpless hunk of butter. I like not having to use utensils. It's so natural. Wow, look how green that grass is under Joe's lawn chair. My mouth is watering. Let's graze. Hey, Joe, why is it called Joe's Backyard? Because I'm Joe, and it's my backyard.